getting out of that beautiful Mercedes GLA, laying my feet on that plush red carpet, I was walking into this huge auditorium. And through that pathway, I saw the huge hoarding say the Eiffel Awards. I was walking through the bustling crowd who was shouting, Ah oh, man, ah oh, man, ah oh, man. I, not only the girls, but the guys, <laughs> were shouting away my name to get my now precious autograph. Four hefty bodyguards, 24 inches biceps, sporting <laughs> black suits, were escorting me. And I was in this perfectly stitched black tuxedo with my uber cool Giorgio Armani shoes shining like a mirror. <laughs> I walked into the auditorium right in the front where the seat had my name in the VIP section. And it was the time for the category of the best music director award. <laughs> and obviously, I won. And I was called upon by A.R. Rahman to receive the award. <laughs> Walked up the stairs, but I lost feeling in my legs. I went up to <coughs> that gorgeous looking lady aboard, but my hands fell numb. I was falling to the ground when I hit my head. And I opened my eyes to realize I had hit the window sill of the bus when it took a sharp left turn. <laughs> Good evening, fellow dreamers, Toastmasters, and your guests. Good evening. My dream ended. So did my nine hour journey from Bangalore to Davangir. I was traveling with my friends to the greatest competition which BTU had offered, the state level competition. And BTU is the Vishweshwaraya Technological University with all, which all engineering colleges are associated with. And I was representing my college in the music composition category and the percussion category. We stopped at a beautiful place, the abandoned hospital. Yes, you got it right. The abandoned hospital was going to be my hostel because BTU didn't own one. <laughs> now, how many of us nauseate when that iodoform smell lingers into the air and into our nose? Well, that minute I realized I could not survive here for a second. But astonishingly, I walked up the seven floors dark stairway as directed by the security. But my friend left me and went, and how many of you know that I get scared of the dark? So I shouted and called out for my friend, Rakhar! 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 The voice echoed and I was trembling. I gathered my grit and ran up seven floors to this vast, large hallway, the general ward. <laughs> it was the most crowded hospital I had ever been to. 300 plus people, more than 72 colleges participating, I had shifted from that secure, pampered life to this horrid condition. Only to realize my father's joke reverberating in my ears that a tin can and a railway track was the best option rather than 299 guys using that washroom, common washroom before you. <laughs> <laughs> but I was lucky that day. I must have done something great, or my parents' prayers were prayed off. I got a sweet upgrade from the general ward to the much sought after private ward. <laughs> so I gathered all my things and walked out like a king into that private ward and slept like a baby. But not for long. I yet again woke up with a buzz sound in my ear. Now Professor Dumbledore, how many of you know him? In Harry Potter quotes that happiness can be found in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. <laughs> when turning on the light was nowhere close to happiness for me, but a stingy time. I woke up to find. <laughs> I woke up to find nectar sucking, a human stinging bees. And I clutched at my windowsill was a huge bee. So we all gathered our things and ran out of the room to the torturous general ward. <laughs> Next morning at the BTU, I was practicing my tintals, my kaidas, balls like immense practice. After a couple of hours, I got into the room where three angry looking judges were sitting with cold expressions, ready to judge me from top to bottom. <laughs> I unboxed my tabla, set the shruti of the tabla, and commenced my soul. After 12 long minutes of the immense showcase of artistic rhythms, it was time for the results. 
I was dripping in sweat. And that whole life award scenario was playing in my head. When the standings came out, I saw my name. And there it was, fifth position. I was happy. Getting fifth position and not making to the top three was a good thing because 45 percent is participating and I came fifth. That was a huge achievement for me in the first year. But that time I realized to get to that fifth position, I had to get out of that backward situation, practice immensely, go through that horrid and dreadful condition at that hospital. Then I realized that success is not perennial and it does not come in a FedEx package or an Amazon Prime service, delivery services in one day. But you have to work hard, be humble and practice immensely to gain the bits and pieces of the Indian post to find that wholesome package of success. So I would urge all of you to focus. Now focus being follow one course until success. So I want you to move from that idea, not the logistics, part of it and not I'm not going to give you facts about FedEx but move from the idea of FedEx that one day service to the Indian post for success because success doesn't come immediately and does not stay for a long time unless you work hard, play hard and dream big. Thank you.